This video will show how to make a drawing template in Autodesk Fusion 360. Go to the File drop-down and pick New Drawing Template. We're going to start from scratch. It's going to be an ASME template. If you'd like to do an ISO, just hit the drop-down. Units will be inch, drop-down for millimeters, and I'm going to start with a B-size sheet. Say OK. The default Fusion title block is attributed. If you double click on it, you'll get the attribute list. You can expand it if you like. I'm going to take out the drawn by and the date. I'm going to leave the size sheet. Now, I would like to customize this a little bit. I can insert an image to make it more company personal. So I'll pick up my logo. It inserts right where I picked my cursor and I happen to know it's 1.97 scale to fit. Say OK and there I have one of my title blocks. I also want to add a title block taken from an AutoCAD drawing. I'll switch to AutoCAD, AutoCAD and open up one of my templates. In there I'll insert the title block I want to capture so I'm going to go to the C size. Say OK to the attributes. Now, first thing, Fusion will not accept any blocks. It must be exploded. So the first thing you want to do is explode it. Now this means all blocks within a drawing. So I'm going to get rid of now just some geometry that I don't need. There are some other blocks in here, so I need to purge it. So I do a purge. and I'll purge all. Take a look to see if there are any more blocks left and there's one. So I need to get rid of that. It's part of my annotation system so I go to annotation and I want to get rid of a block used in a leader. So it's using a block so I just go to none and say close. It's also in one of my styles so I'll go to that and delete it says it cannot be deleted because it's being used. That's no problem. Now I can delete it. So the next thing I need to do is set this to standard also and save by the new name. It's called ACAD. I'm going to call it ACAD Title Block. Might help to spell it right. Now I want to be sure there are no more blocks in it. Do another purge and see if there's a block still in it. And it is still there. So what I need to do, I'm going to just save it and purge again. Purge all to create the styles. It should be gone now. Let's take a look. and then no blocks. Next thing I need to do is this field right here is got to be a new attribute because I want to be able to change my sheet size as I go along. So I'm going to go to my Express Tools and I'm going to justify the text to middle center of this particular one. Middle center. Then I'm going to go to Insert and create an attribute called Sheet Size. Enter my prompt, enter sheet size. I want a metal center, and I know my style is Swiss. Say OK, and I want to insert it over this center. Then get rid of the C in the background. So I just added a new attribute. The next thing that's required is to get rid of all fields. Fusion does, not, does not, not like AutoCAD fields, and I have a few inside here. So I need to click on these and get rid of the fields. So I'll just delete those quickly. And 
and the last one is a drawing number. Okay, now all the fields are gone, all the blocks are gone. Now I need to move the lower right hand corner to 0, 0, so coming correctly into my Fusion 360 template. So I want to go to Home and Move, put a window around it all, use my O tracking to find the corner, and then move it to 0, 0. So as you can see now, it's on zero, zero. I'll save one more time and close. Back in Fusion, I want to add this title block. So I go down to the bottom, pick on title block, insert title block. Pick on my ACAD title block and say open. Comes in with that error. Notice it nested right into the corner. It's also attributes, picks up all the attributes from the AutoCAD drawing. I want to leave a couple, but I want to get rid of some of them. I also need to add a value for the sheet size, because this is B. So now I have another title block. I can shift between them very quickly. So your template can have as many title blocks as you want. The next thing you want to do is, of course, save it. Save it to wherever folder you want. I'm going to call it my uh, Fusion Title Block. I'm going to call it Template, not Title Block. And save. Now, when you Begin a new drawing from a design. I'll just open up a part real quick. So I'll pan. And you want to make a new drawing from design. Notice that you can pick up the template from the drop down Fusion Title. And say OK. And your template comes in. Notice you can change the title block if you need to at any time. Let me open up another title block I did which has quite a few title blocks in it. This is the template I did earlier. As you can see it has many different templates in it or title blocks. One that you just saw Another one that is used for maybe a second sheet. Even a smaller one if you'd like. So remember you can put as many title blocks into your template as you desire. Remember they're all attributed and can be filled in by simply double clicking on any line. Another feature you can set in your template are placeholder views. I'm going to place this one for component. I'm going to place the base view and I want it to be the front view of the object. I want it to be visible with hidden edges. Scale will be automatic. I want to show tangent and hit interference edges. Say OK. I'm going to do a projected view right side and one isometric. Change the isometric to shaded. So now, with I place a part into this template, it will automatically generate the base view from the front and the right side in an isometric. Go ahead and save the template and let's try it out. I'm going to open up another part. And I'm going to create a drawing from design using my template that we just created. As you can see, it places the three views automatically. I can click on any one, which is the base over here, and change the scale if I want. 
and then I can move them around or I can change maybe this scale back to a quarter so it fits a little better thanks very much